What's up everybody on YouTube? This is Jack T here and this is the second video of the week. Now today this is going to be kind of an interesting video. This is going to be what I think, my personal opinion, so don't go off in the comments, should be the top three mods that you should do to your car at first. Now, the basis for what these mods should be is I'm thinking something that's cheap and something that's going to have a big effect on your car. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean performance-wise or anything like that, but something that's going to really change how the car looks and feels to you. You know, it's not always about pushing the most power out of it, but as much as you driving it and feeling like it's a lot more different than it was before. So let's get right into it. So number one on the thing, on the list of things that you should do to your car is, in my opinion, an exhaust. Now keep in mind, mine is a naturally aspirated Mustang, so an exhaust should be the first thing I do. But in general, most cars, once you put an exhaust on it, becomes a whole new experience. With that, you know, it's louder, it feels a whole lot more fun driving, you really want to get into the higher RPMs. It's just a whole different experience and it really opens up the car. You feel like it's a whole new animal that you're driving. So that's why I think an exhaust should be the first thing that you do to your car. Now the second thing, this one is kind of, kind of a little difficult to really decipher which one you want to do because I think it should be lowering springs. Now keep in mind my car is on really high suspension stock. If you know Mustangs especially, these models, the S197 and below, you know that the stock suspension is very high. The 2015 sit a little lower, but in general Mustangs are like monster trucks when it comes to their suspension. So with that, I think that lowering spring should be the second thing that you do. But also at the same time, something that I haven't done yet, well I haven't done the lowering springs either, but something that I haven't done yet is I feel like you should tint your windows. I haven't done either of those, but I think it's something that you should definitely look into. Now, what's weird is my second mod to the car, besides like aesthetic things like a spoiler, was getting the wheels and rims on it. Now, typically this wouldn't be one of the first things you do to your car just because rims and new tires, especially if it's a different size, are really expensive. But since I got the sponsorship, I'm like, yeah, of course, it looks, makes the car look so much nicer. And if I lower it with these rims on it, it's gonna be crazy good looking. Now with the lowering springs, it's not gonna be crazy different in terms of handling, but it'll sit lower. You're gonna have to drive it a little differently, a little bit more carefully because it bumps potholes and stuff like that. But it sits lower, it looks a whole lot nicer, and you might get a little bit better control when you're turning. The window tints really is just, do you wanna drive an aquarium or not? That's just the only thing that I recommend you do that I haven't done yet either. Now the third thing is actually an intake and tune. Now intakes and tunes, especially on naturally aspirated cars, they're kind of a sketchy thing, you know, nobody really, nobody has the same opinion on that. Now, from what I've researched about these cars is if you get an intake on it, a cold air intake, if you don't need a tune for it, it's probably not gonna make much of a difference. It'll make the car sound a little louder, and if you just want sound, I mean, go for it, but if you're spending money on an intake, you should get an intake with the tube is a little bigger. Now, what that means, if the tube for the cold air intake is colder than the, is bigger than the stock cold air intake, that would mean that you need a tune for it. Now, if you tune it and then you have other mods that support it too, like other bolt-ons, you know, whether that be exhaust, headers, anything like that, the intake and tone will really open up the car and really make it a whole lot faster, even though it'll look pretty much stopped. You can't really tell if somebody has an intake and tune, but it really changes up how the car feels. Now, this, of course, is a list of things that I would do to the Mustang, but I feel like in a lot of cases, it should be the top three things you should do to any car. Now, the window tints and lowering springs, you can switch off, it could be, top four things or however you take it, but the long springs I feel like a little more important than tints. Tints are just, do you want to drive an aquarium? Do you want everybody to see what's going on in the car? If you don't mind, then we don't need tints. Especially if you live in LA, then you know, tints are like the biggest attraction for cops. It's like, they see tints, you're a criminal. They're gonna pull you over and if you have an exhaust like I do, it's probably another ticket right there. So you gotta be careful with anything that you do to your car. Now with the cold air intake in tune, Again, that's something that I feel like you should do to your Mustang, but if you have a turbo core or anything like that, intake and tune will definitely open it up. I recommend you guys try it out. If you feel like it hasn't made much of a difference, any of the mods that I told you guys about, then take it off. You know, these are most, for the most part, they provide a little bit of aesthetic, a little bit of performance, nothing crazy, but I'll open up the car and make it a whole different experience. So I recommend you guys try those out. So those are my list of top three things you should do to your car. Comment below what your top three things that you did to your car were what mods you want to do first or what mods you did first. This has been Jack T. If you guys liked the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more, comment below. I'll see you guys on the next video.